Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, South Africa with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. Pretty soon Elna will be back with us again, probably in the summary video of this mini bracket that I am currently busy with. Three 18-year-old whiskies. It's the second 18-year-old whiskey bracket that uh, we are doing here at the Whiskey Couch, the place where Whiskey and food come together in adventurous, exciting, perfect harmony. So in this bracket, I've already covered the Jameson 18-year-old triple distilled Irish blend, the Scottish blend Sheba's 18-year-old, and today I am doing the Glen Morangy 18-year-old single malt from the Highland of Scotland. This is the gift box and it opens like that. A bit of information, leaflets in there. Beautiful Glen Morangy, 18 year old from the Glen Morangy Distillery. And it is owned by Glen Morangy Company, part of Mohay. Mohay and Hennessy. And it can be found in the northern highlands of Scotland. This is the lowlands, the highlands and Ireland. Jameson Ireland sits around about here. And by the time this video will be uploaded on YouTube, Elna and myself will probably be in Ireland visiting our kids. Jock and Shona, we are becoming grandparents in February. Can you believe that? Yes. Our first grandson, mm, but I'm getting distracted. Lowlands, Highlands, the very well-known Speyside region where you can find Glen Fiddick, McCallan, Glen Livet, and all the Speyside whiskies. More than half of the distilleries of the entire Scotland in that little Speyside region. But Glen Morangy around about there in the Highlands next to Dalmore. Kleinlich, Balblair, and a little bit south of Old Pulteney. That is where Glen Morangy Distillery can be found. It was founded in 1843, a very long time ago. And Glen Morangy, of course, comes from the Gaelic word that means Valley of Tranquility and Peace. Also, Glen Morangy is known for the fact that they apparently have the tallest stills in which they distill their whiskey which gives it a smooth gentle character uh, for which Glen Morangy is very well known. This 18 year old matured in ex bourbon and Oloroso sherry ex Oloroso sherry casks bottled at 43% alcohol by volume beautiful volume and pretty soon I'm gonna do the Glen Morangy Signet gonna do a review and a food pairing on the Glen Morangy Signet I'm also looking forward to that that might be the next video after the summary of this bracket in which Elna and myself we will reveal which was our favorite now information about chill filtration coloring added so even though we have a dark golden honey color you can see the legs forming there 18 years let me just make 100 percent sure specially aged rare malt scotch whiskey matured in oak casks yes no information about chill filtration or coloring added oh nevertheless here we go on the nose, almonds and honey, almonds, almonds and honey, nutty, honey, fruit, sweet, no indication of alcohol, beautiful, soft, fruity nose, toffee, vanilla, creme brulee, and then the citrus is making an appearance. Ooh, toffee citrus. Nectarines. Mm. Complex nose. 
toffee, vanilla, nuts, fruit, sweet, citrus. Lemon meringue, drizzled with toffee sauce. Mouth-watering nose, on the palate, slanger. Yo, rich, sweet, fruity, malty. The maltiness and the fruit in this flavor profile gives you a fruit, a pastry fruit dessert impression. Fruity, malty, nutty, sweet. Dessert like malt whiskey. Mm. Honey, vanilla, sherry, balanced with a bit of wood spices and pepper, but definitely leaning towards. The sweet, fruit, nutty, honey, pastry side. Not leaning towards the spicy side. That is for sure. Long finish for me. The finish is warm. The finish is rich. It's fruity, nutty. And I need to add a bit of water. Let's see what a bit of water will do to this. I poured myself a very serious dram here. Now that I take a look at this very serious jam. So a few drops of water in the 43%. You can see the oil, oily effect on the glass after the water was added. More fruity dessert, but now I'm getting candy store aromas. Buttery, buttery pasty, buttery pastry with fruit dessert, dusted with Christmas spices. So what will my summary be? Well, let me tell you, if you add a few drops of water, this becomes especially good. Mm. And syrupy smooth. I would say in summary, I would say Glen Morangy, 18 year old, dessert like qualities. I would say fruity sweet dessert in a buttery pastry with toffee and citrus sauce. Ooh, there's so many things that come to mind. It's quite difficult to, to summarize in one single summary. Price-wise, we're looking at 1,500 Rand here in South Africa, 90 or 80 pounds in the UK, which will probably translate to $110, depending where in the US you would buy this. Excellent whiskey. Pairing this whiskey with a food snack, I have decided to go with a dessert, seeing that this is like a dessert whiskey. And I need the buttery malty, I need to connect with the buttery maltiness. And I'm doing that with lightly toasted syrup waffles. That will connect to the malty buttery side of this whiskey. And then I've got a very creamy Italian pistachio ice cream. And the whiskey will add the fruit to this dessert. My mouth is watering. I wonder if this will be visible on the camera, but there we go. Lightly toasted syrup waffles with pistachio creamy full cream dairy ice cream. And the whiskey will add the fruitiness to this nutty dessert with the buttery pastry.
This is gonna be good. This is just absolutely fantastic. Pistachio ice cream. Mm. Hand in glove, hand in glove, it just blends perfectly together. This is a, probably one of the better pairings, dessert pairings that I have tasted so far. Absolutely fantastic. There we go, the whiskey couch, the place where whiskey and food come together in adventurous harmony. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys, all you whiskey enthusiasts out there liking our videos and subscribing and inviting your friends. In the next video summary, plus our favorite, my favorite and Elna's favorite out of these three 18-year-old whiskies. Until then, slanger.